What's up everyone, today we're gonna do something really cool, and that is turning this video into this moving artwork. So let's get to it. So I think this is really cool because it combines two things that I really like. Algorithms and AI and videos. So to make this video we're gonna use a free software called eBSynth and something called Image Style Transfer to get the look we want. Okay, so the way eBSynth works is it takes an image sequence and a stylized keyframe from that video. Then it applies that style to the whole video. So first of all, we have to record a video. Although one thing to note is, the simpler the scene is, the better the results will be. And also try to keep it short, because the algorithm takes a while to complete, and just a few seconds of video took about two hours to render on my computer. Although that is a MacBook Air 2014, so you might have better results with that. So now that you have your video, you want to convert that into an image sequence of either JPEGs or PNGs. And when you have an image sequence, you want to choose a frame from that video that shows as much of the object as possible. In my case, that's my face. So I choose this first frame where I show my whole face. And so now you want to stylize that frame somehow. And there's a number of ways you can do this. You could turn this into an artwork yourself, but if you're anything like me and can't paint, there's another way to do this. There are a lot of websites where you can upload an image and stylize it using something called Image Style Transfer. And what it does is it takes one of your images and an image in the style you want and then applies that style to your image using machine learning or AI. Two websites you can use are deepart.io or algorithmia.com. And so this is what my keyframe looks like with the style applied. So now we're gonna use eBSynth to style this whole video. So let's head over to the computer. Okay, so first of all, you wanna open up eBSynth and select our image sequence. And you wanna make sure that this is in ascending order rather than descending order, as that might otherwise mess up your results. And now we wanna add our stylized keyframe. We want to make sure that this has the same frame number as the original frame. And we also want to make sure that we set the start frame to the first frame in the image sequence. And we also want to set the keyframe value to the keyframe that we set. And then lastly we want to set the end frame. And that should be the last frame of your image sequence. Now we just have to press synth and wait for eBSynth to finish. And now eBSynth should have rendered a new image sequence. And so what you want to do is import that to your favorite editor of choice and render it as a video. So let's see how that turned out. And now as you might notice the video doesn't look great at all times. The image really starts to fall apart when I turn my head sideways. And that's because the software doesn't really know what the side of my face looks like. And to fix that we're gonna use another keyframe. So let's go into eBSynth again. So by pressing this plus button we can add another keyframe. And you want to make sure that you set the start value, keyframe value, and end value accordingly. And then we want to select our output folder where the image sequence will be rendered to. And then we just have to press synth again to render our image sequence. So now we have two image sequences. One that looks like this. And one that looks like this. So as you can see, the first video looks good at the start and at the end where it most resembles the keyframe, but it doesn't look great in between. So during the frames where the first video looks bad, we want to transition over to our other video. And this can be a bit finicky, so you have to play around with it to get it just right. I just imported them both into Premiere Pro and added a cross dissolve between them. And so, now we're all done. And that's how I got this final result. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. That must mean you liked it and therefore you should smash that subscribe button, like the video if you liked it and comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh god, I made such a